Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Control. Uh, last time we were basically uh, going around to the investigations uh, sector and uh, stumbled across the um, uh, the ordinary AWE setup, like the diorama, uh, which is what uh, Darling and Trench and all them were investigating. Uh, we also uh, managed to somehow get into the Alan Wake uh, DLC, uh, the Alan centric, the Alan Wake centric uh, DLC, which um, piqued my interest more than the main story did, unfortunately. So that's what I wanted to continue on. Um, I quickly went back to the basement area to see if uh, Octi gave us another side quest because we found that uh, plant that seemed to thrive uh, when hit by light. And I was wondering if that was maybe like a side quest by Octi. And um, looking at his board here, you can see we do have a side quest. What a mess, even more mold. All of it. This thing is completely living from the meat and burger. No, this ah, is something da. different. Helvetin helvet. Oma tulossa ja tällaista paskaa. Well, we're certainly going to take care of that later. Um, but right now... I did want to kind of continue on the, uh, yeah, this one, a dark place. Uh, Jesse receives a strange vision that mentions the investigation sector. She decides to look into the matter. After arriving in the sector, Jesse passes through a long, closed fire break, unsure of what awaits her on the other side. So yeah, this is what um, we were. This is what we were doing. So let's head back. After a very quick... After a very quick tussle with these guys. Okay. Perfect. No casualties of import. So, did also have seven points that I can pump into something. I believe I was, yeah. I think I was uh, saving up for this one, which is what we're going to continue to do. So weapon form, construct surge, um, fires adhesive, adhesive munitions that detonate when manually triggered, or if their timer expires. I'd rather. Well, this one's different. Charges and holds up to three explosive projectiles that can stagger enemies caught in their blast. Um. I mean, I don't want to upgrade the spin. Uh, we'll still have plenty enough. You know, let's construct the surge. And let's... Let's try it out. So I see. If you're in uh, aim mode, you fire it. If you just press right trigger, it just detonates it. Uh, I'm not really into this one. Just keep the pierce. And then upgrade the surge, which I don't really want to do. I'm fine with what we have. Okay, so let's head back to investigations. We were in the operations corridor. Hope you guys have been having a great week. I've actually been thinking about this game in between playing Persona. 
and I've uh, been raring to get back into it. Filing and processing, fire break, that's where we came from. Operation Center and active investigations. Okay. Well, someone closed this area off. Okay, so there's another plant. I'm guessing we need a light source of some kind. Um, can I get one? Yeah, I think I dropped it. Oh, does this count as a light source? Maybe? No. No, we want like a... Yeah. We want a, we want a, like a lamp. Heart lamp. Orange peel. Okay. The third thing. The sound made darker, the darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched like a worm through time. The third thing was a monster. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Phaeton. Interesting. It is dark as fuck in here. Uh, so we need a lamp to get through there. I really cannot see a thing. Okay, what do we got here? Reminder, all employees are required to report their hours at the end of each month. The Federal Bureau of Control maintains that time is not subjective, and hours passed on alternative planes cannot be claimed. That sucks. Astral dives do not accumulate overtime compensation. That sucks. Thank you for your attention. Uh, I swear there was something here. Maybe, how? Agent Fisher, day six inside the motel. Utilized surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Motion detectors in the lobby area. Tripwire, triggering a flash camera across the main entrance. Even fingerprint powder on the front desk. Results are very best. Mostly just... Inconclusive and unusable. Seen the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're messing with me, whoever they are. I think. Wait, you should. There's something. I gotta get this. I gotta get the cable out. Come on, you fiber out there. Fuck, cooperate. Is that it? Or not? Recording better work this time, or I swear to God. What? Hello? Who's there? Oh shit! I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a. Where's my? Now are you done? It's still... I think it's still playing. I think that's it. I have no idea what was going on there. Interrogation complaint. Kirkland. So you put me on desk duty just because I did the thing I was fucking hired to do? My job? Want to know what I call that? Bullshit. 
asking us to interrogate these scum without using words like altered items or AWEs or paracriminal is the stupidest thing I've heard in my life, and I've heard some fucking stupid things. They already know the facts. Hell, they know just as much as us, if not more. And they get to sit there laughing at us while we dance around our words, trying not to leak classified terminology. They already know the fucking terminology. If you think pulling me off the case will stop me, then think again. That piece of shit blew up those trucks. He killed those people, all to make a train turn altered. We have him dead to rights, and you need to let me back in that interrogation cell so I can get him to flip on his buddies. These people are terrorists and deserve to be treated as such. This won't put a stop this won't stop unless we stop them. You can go ahead and put me on suspension. See if that slows me down. Agent Hewitt. Got a loose cannon here. Uh ooh, a hotline. Okay. Oh, the third thing, yeah, yeah. And multimedia, the billable hours. And what we just heard. Motel observation. Okay. I really wish we had some kind of light source. This is so fucking dark. Are those more side quests? Hang on. We'll get there. <laughs> Black market. Altered item... Illegal altered item market. A black market hub uh, specializing in the trade of occult talismans, relics, and other assorted ceremonial objects, as well as genuine altered and paranatural materials, was raided in blank Czech Republic by a team of special investigators. Unsuccessful attempts by suspects to escape using altered items resulted in numerous casualties and prevented the Bureau from questioning all participants. The following interrogation revealed that not only is there a vast network of these retailers, but that they seem to be gathering information on altered items and other paranatural materials from sources unknown to the Bureau. The Bureau's concern here is threefold. A. There is a growing underground market for paranatural materials, which implies a growing awareness of their existence among a niche group of the general public. B. These criminal individuals do not seem aware of the item's paranatural powers, and their attempts to activate them could po prove devastating if done in populated areas. And C, the motivations of these collectors are largely unknown. I actually hadn't considered black market, uh, uh, the black market for AWEs, which, I mean, makes sense. I mean, this stuff is basically uh, out there in the world and people are complaining about them, which is how FBC gets a hold of them, you know? NASA Cooperation Review. Following the NASA FBC Coordination Agreement of 1972, the Bureau has provided NASA with numerous technological advancements based on our research, including the black rock lining now found in all spacefaring vessels. In return, all data gathered during space missions is made available for Bureau researchers to analyze. Recently, certain individuals have raised the concern that this relationship does not adequately benefit the Bureau, either intellectually or financially. A thorough examination of the costs accrued by both organizations has shown that the expense of NASA's recent launch of the blank far outweighs any spending related to the processing and delivery of BlackRock. From its medium Earth orbit, the blank will provide the Bureau with unparalleled resource for remotely monitoring and photographing AWE sites, a resource that will be lost if the partnership ends. It is the opinion of this committee that maintaining a cooperative relationship with our colleagues at NASA is of vital importance. I mean, yeah, makes sense. You definitely want to be able to get uh, satellite footage of, uh, of whatever's going on wherever in the world, you know. Alright. Well, you are 
Ah, uh, these are the plants. Lighten them up. Ah, more plants. All right, let's go make some new friends. Okay, so we can't go this way. And I remember seeing the battery down that way. I mean, sure, I'll do that. You coming? Okay, come on. There we go. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Um, this way. Uh, right there. Yay! God, it's so dark. Uh. And that opens this area, yeah. So I'm guessing, I'm hoping, this will turn on the lights in here. Before I do that, let's take a look at all this stuff. My understanding of the darkness is fragmented, <clears throat> incomplete. This abyss, this void, it very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. We are opposing forces, destined to collide. And given this conflict of natures, we know that the light of truth will burn away the darkness, both figuratively and literally. Any significant light source can be used as protection, even weaponry against this metaphysical gloom. And then there are the artists, I know for a fact that Tom, Wake, the Anderson brothers, and Lane all had some involvement with the darkness. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness, or did their work perhaps even create it? With Wake now to to consider. my lodge, I expect <clears throat> I shall grow closer to learning the answers to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving quite the challenge. Well, perseverance is the foundation of knowledge. Speaking of, I must be off on my rounds. So, he actually hits the nail on the head um, of whether... Uh, that's the main question. Does the... Uh, does the, did the darkness exist because of their work? Or did their work create the darkness? That's actually something that's explored in the main game. Uh, of Alan Wake. And I'm guessing the darkness... This is the guy that the darkness took. The thing that would be Hartman. That Alan Wake mentioned in the last episode. The Shadow. Paranatural Entity A010, a.k.a. The Shadow, is an aggressive blank consisting of three known types. Is an aggressive son of a bitch. That's, that's what I'm going to say. Type A, localized manifestations of sentient blank, I'm guessing darkness, capable of occupying organic and inorganic material, as well as, as, well as exerting blank over its surrounding. B, uh, shaded individuals, human bodies blank by the shadow, possessed, I would assume. These individuals become notably more aggressive, but do seem to retain blank of their previous selves. Research is ongoing as to whether this condition is reversible. Or type C, shaded objects, similar to type B, except that inanimate objects are blank solely to be used as destructive tools. Each type seems to work towards a shared goal, possibly targeting certain individuals, see AWE 35, which may imply a shared link to a blank intelligence. 
The threat of this entity poses the threat this entity poses warrants immediate exploration of offensive and defensive measures. The investigation sector is being outfitted with additional lighting sources, some internally powered to prepare for the eventuality of an invasion. That'd be my guess. And what we just heard is not work there. Yeah, I mean, if only the FBC was well lit. God forbid that should happen. Eagle Limited Summary. A train derailment resulting in 62 casualties and numerous injuries was suspected to have been the work of a paracriminal group known as Blank. So I guess that's what we read about earlier. Uh, as a result of this event, the agents discovered that one of the cars had become altered with a persistent auditory event. It remains to be determined whether the AWE was spontaneous or the direct result of, uh, of the sabotage. The Bureau had been tracking said group at the time, and the intel gathered suggested an event of this caliber was imminent in Bloomington. As a result, a response team on site was able to respond to the train accident site within minutes of its occurrence. They arrived to find emergency processes underway, but also equipment left behind by the suspected group. A suspicious onlooker managed to elude agents after they attempted to make contact. Further investigation of the accident site revealed a curiously undamaged train car that exhibited an altered state when entered. This individual car was secured and transported to the investigation sector for further studies. I wonder what the altered state was. Like, what, did it look different inside, or was it altered in terms of, like, it was alive? You know what I mean? Like, did you, when you walked in, was it, like, you know, a 1940s scene? You know what I mean? There we go. Hi, guys. Oh, nice try. Nice try. All right, fellas. Let's do this. Oh. You mind now, sucker? there there we go oh alright you fight each other Is there more? Come on, buddy. Sick him out. You can do it. Go on, boy. Or not. Oh, hi. That's all of them. Okay. So all of that, we've yet to find a mobile light source. Okay, I don't think we went to that room. Another bathroom. Nothing. Whole lot of nothing, except for that. Okay. is going on oh it's sapping my 
abilities. Okay, before I go there... Sorry, I thought I saw something. Um, I really want to see if I can find... Uh, a light source. Because I want to get the... I want to get the plant out there. And I'm sure there's another plant out here somewhere. So that's lit up by this skylight here, I guess. Yeah, there's a plant... There's a plant over here somewhere. I think it was down there. Alright guys, so yeah, I went back to where I found that lamp the first time, uh, by the door. Uh, there's a plant here. Welcome back to the land of the living, little buddy. There's one there. So a quarter, so there's a bunch in this area, huh? Another one here somewhere, maybe? The thing that sucks is that I have to hold it this entire time, you know? But I guess that's the point. Alright, so there's no plants in this area. these plants uh, this one so AWE loading bay so it was behind us whoops So we actually, there's none back this way. Um, I actually want to do this plant stuff before we move on. So there should be another one here. This is the operations corridor, right? Yeah. Here or anything, is there? No. So we got that one. Where is this other plant? Maybe it's on the other side. Oh no, it's right there. There's one. So one more. Oh, no, of course. Oh my god. die 
Alright, assholes, round two. Wow, that was rude. Backstab. Adamant fucks, aren't you? Alright. Uh, yeah, so we got that one. Boop, boop, boop. Right. Uh, that's where we came from. Oh my god, it's in there. That took a lot longer than it fucking needed to. Ugh. Alright. And the AW loading bay. I don't think we're there yet. So. <sighs> yeah, I'm not gonna hold on to this light the whole time. I'm just hope I'm just gonna hope there's a light over there. Oh man, that took a long time. That was well hidden. Okay, let's see what's behind this door. Uh I don't feel right. Something in this darkness is draining me. Okay, so staying in the light um, basically makes us feel better. Okay, before we look at stuff, let's turn on the light here. I'm just curious to see if this will actually hurt us. No, so it won't actually hurt us, but we can't do anything that requires abilities. Okay, so I'm wondering if we need to grab the, um, at least one of the, uh, oh, we can't. That's permanently in there. Okay, so I can't grab that. I thought of it. All right, so I need to head upstairs then. Um, did I claim this? Yeah, I did. So there's no batteries down here. Oh, whoops. No batteries that I can see. Oh, there's a third one here. Um, a fourth one. Wow, we need a lot of batteries here. Okay. So let's head upstairs. Lovely. Now what? What is that? Come on, elevator, time to go. Holy shit. Um... Can I 
take that out? I can't. So that's permanent. That's permanent too. Oh, these are power cores. Oh, fucking A. Okay. Uh, there's one there. right there. Oh, jeez. So there was one over here. I think. I believe. Maybe not. Oh, jeez. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Nope. Oh fuck. I could swear there was one there. Fuck off. Okay, so let's let's just follow this. None here. Okay. Oh. So I, I literally cannot damage him. Okay. So. Man, what does this do? Nice. That's right, bitch. Run away. Yeah, how do you like that? Okay, that was actually pretty good. That was an interesting fight. And of course, now it's darker than it was before. <laughs> Okay, let's pick up all this extra shit here. Hartman background. Dr. Emil Hartman is an academic psychotherapist that owned and operated a recovery center in blank, Wisconsin. No, not Wisconsin. Washington. That one, I know for a fact that one's Washington. But uh, focused on the treatment of artists struggling with creative blocks and other mental disorders. Publicly, Dr. Hartman's treatment center seemed unremarkable in its methods and purpose. Privately, however, Dr. Hartman was abusing his patients in order to utilize any latent blank abilities they may possess with the aim of shaping blank to his own benefit, which earned him a class 2 paracriminal designation. 
Note, for more on the link between artists and their ability to blank reality through artistic mediums, see file blank. And it's something that we'll actually get to see in the Alan Wake game because there you do meet a couple of people that are able to uh, alter the world around them based on their artistic abilities. Investigation has proven that Dr. Hartman's illegal endeavors were conducted alone. After being approached by the Bureau during the blank investigation, he displayed no remorse or intention to cease his actions. Dr. Hartman was taken into custody, evaluated, and released blank months later, having been deemed a negligible threat. His medical license has been permanently revoked. Yeah, like that's really going to matter to a guy like this. Uh, is there another document? Oh, the His Ranger. Airborne one, yeah. Coolio. So we got that one. Anything up here? Arcade machines? Shoom. Shim? Shoom. Shoom. Whatever. Um, what? After dying, you... The goal of crown control is to survive. Okay. How long? Kick him in the balls. Oh, I can only have three people at a time, I forgot. Oh, hi. Behind me? Of course. That's okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. Ah. Uh. That was that was definitely my own fault. That was interesting. I want to be able to at least be one level. Round two.
You bitch. Come on, Bubba. Oh, jeez. Fucker. Fuck. I knew it. This guy's pounds really hurt. Come on, Bubba. Let's do this. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? Oh, sorry, bro. That's right, bitch. Oh, I see you. Sorry guys, I know I'm not talking a lot. I'm really sorry. I'm just kind of concentrating. Oh jeez. No. Ah. Fuck. No, no, no. Shit, 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 go, go, go. Oh, that was so close. That was so fucking close. He's a shit. Yeah, that's right. more
All right. There's someone here? Yeah. Sorry, bro. Eat shit, bitch. Is that it? Nope. Whoa. Oh, oh shit. Is that it? Oh, I didn't realize the thing at the top left. Oh my god, that's so much. Hey, bro. Come on. Oh, hi, bro. I think I just killed my own guy, but he was about to die anyway. Where are you? I'm surprised that hit.
Oh, jeez. Oh, it's this guy. Where are you going, bro? Come on! Hey, you don't scare me, bitch. Oh, shit! Fuck me. Fuck. Oh shit. Nope. That was so goddamn close. I just wanted to turn him. Whew, this is tiring, man. Alright, where is it? It's over there. Fuck. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. God damn it. Fuck. I'm sweating bullets, guys. I'm sweating fucking bullets. Yeah, I need health badly. He's fucking scared. You better be. Alright, where's this other asshole? Shit. Fuck. Oh my god. Okay.
shit. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck. It's fine. It's okay. That is a lot of longer than I thought it was going to take. I will come back to this another time. But that is fun. That's a lot of fun. Uh, man, I forgot what I was doing. Okay. up here yeah man that's that's an in, that's more than endurance fucking around like that's that's a commitment what i played like half an hour there 20 minutes maybe Ooh, night springs so uh for those of you who don't remember night springs is that like um twilight zone tv show that would show in alan wake like they're five minutes or so Note, this screenplay was found after the Bureau acquired the Night Springs television series and all its past episode scripts. It appears to be written by Alan Wake as part of an application to become one of the show's writers. Episode 1, Over the Threshold Darkly, by Alan Wake. Host, voiceover. It is only human nature to wish to control the forces around us, and even more so to possess them. But what happens when those forces are not ours to claim, or even of this world? What if they are the things that you can discover in Night Springs? Uh, okay, interior secret lab night. We are in a secret lab. The large sign on the wall reads the Federal Bureau of Night Springs. Scientist, I've told you several times, Director, it isn't ready. Director, I say when it's ready, Doctor. Scientist, but the being beyond the portal, we have no control over it. I see. It's He wrote, um, he basically wrote the whole darling director fight um, potentially what brought the hiss here no one knows what lies beyond the scary door okay so that's it for up here I know that there were a bunch uh, around this area here. No. There we go. Door appearance. An excursion into the Ocean View Motel and Casino discovered a previously unseen door in the lobby hallway. This door featured a spiral-shaped marking, designation door blank, similar to the other doors. It is locked and cannot be forced open. Alice Wake, a person of interest in the Bright Falls AWE, referred to AWE 35 for details, and the former wife of missing author Alan Wake. Oh, the former wife, eh? So I guess they broke, they divorced. A suspected para-utilitarian and blank contacted Agent Shaw and Dempsey of the investigation sector using the phone number given to her in 2010 in accordance with civilian outreach protocols. The call resulted in Mrs. Wake, I thought she was a former wife, uh, Ms. Wake being brought into the oldest house for an in-person interview for a full transcript for the file blank. On blank 2017, the excursion into the Ocean View Motel occurred later that same day. Determining whether this was a basic synchronicity event, if Alice Waker is responsible for its appearance, or if the door itself relates to AWE 35 is paramount. She should be returned to the oldest house, possibly even taken into the motel itself to confirm if any other changes occur. That is interesting. Brian Hennerman, 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Hennerman. I do? Tell me about Delivery Disaster. The movie? I don't... I mean, it wasn't very good. That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. 
Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night with a, you know, a K, not an N, not, not night, like nighttime, but... Who contacted you? Who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I shouldn't have given such a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes me look smart. And I thought if I looked smart, I would get listeners. My podcast would take off and I could move out of my parents' basement. I may even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. <sighs> okay, the kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. I, I'd say we should interrogate him further anyway. You never know. Um, there was something back here as well. Vending machine procedures. Ooh, another AWE. Okay. Containment procedure, none known. Testing is in the testing in the investigation sector is currently ongoing. Description of altered effect and altered effect. A vending machine. It's front covered in a full wood panel. Coin operated buttons for selecting food products. The item generates and stores a variety of material, both edible and otherwise, in its rows of internal trays. Initial testing suggests the item reacts to the mind of the individual in closest proximity and will produce whatever they subconsciously desire. Attempts to cause the item to create a living blank have consistently failed. That's kind of cool. You pass by a vending machine, like, man, I wish I could have a Snickers. All of a sudden, like, Snickers bar materializes. Um, but why would you want to create something living? Like, that's just weird. The item was discovered in a nursing home in blank Alberta uh, after a resident named Muriel blank called a local news station about a magic vending machine. A news story reported that the nursing home's staff was purposefully stocking the machine with distinctive food and objects as a way to raise resident spirits. The Bureau response team encouraged this story while confiscating the item. It is back in 2017, eh? Uh, where was it? Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. And I think that's everything around here. I looked in this room, yeah? Pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Let's get in the elevator. Or do we follow him up that vent? that he went to. Where is that been? I guess he went up there. No, we can't go on that way. Alrighty. can't hear you. It's a one-way system. Try to find an intercom. Falls AW Bright Falls. Eagle Limited. Oh, I forgot. Doesn't automatically pick up. Uh, this one is FRA Morrow. Jesse. I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. Let me guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. That thing is a person? He was a person. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a lantern? Headlamp? Oh, yeah, flare gun. Oh, Christmas lights. You could wrap them around your- I don't have any of those, Langston. Shit. Okay, uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll keep an eye on you from the Panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? 
Maybe from where you're standing. Right. Okay. Well, uh... Break a leg. Oh, why did I say that? Okay. This Hartman thing can't have gotten very far. Let's go flush him out. Hmm. Langston was right. This is kind of exciting. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, want I don't to know brag. why people are making it so personal. <laughs> right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but when he's weird, it's charming. Altered items really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just one. Okay. Pause. I've been wanting to say something for like the last two minutes. Um, okay, first off, Hartman's been like this for a while and they just locked him up here and like, yeah, we'll deal with it later. And they never thought to mention this before. Like, I know it's probably a DLC content, but they never thought to mention or like, oh, by the way, there's some huge fucking monster and in investigations um, could potentially break free and, you know, uh, wreak havoc across the Bureau, even more so than it already is going on. Just as director, you thought you might want to know. Like, uh, nothing? Second, why don't we have a fucking flashlight? Why aren't these rooms... Like, I get if... If, like, there were fluorescent light, like, ballast in the ceiling, and, like, they, they were broken and shit, I get that. Nothing is in, is installed in most of these rooms. Why don't we have a flashlight? I'll take a fucking pen light. Um, of all the abilities Jesse has, she doesn't have anything that can make light. Even if it takes up some of her energy, like, that's... It's just weird, man, because this game, the dark areas are fucking dark. It's not just your screens. It's my... Like, I can't... You probably see better than I do, in all honesty. So, I... To me, that that's a major downside of this game, not having a flashlight. Wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race and we're all trying to be number one. If it is a race, though, I'd say Darling is a mile ahead of everyone else. He was Trench's golden boy for years, but that relationship has gotten pretty tense, or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I spread rumors, just, you know. Langston, shut the fuck up. I keep my nose to the grind. Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused so I can get my work done and get home to feed Alfred. He's of just going to talk for hours. I always really. make it home for mealtime, so I have my neighbor check in on Alfred at 7 o'clock if I'm not back yet. She's very nice. Her name is Maria. She's older. She came to New York in the 50s to attend school and has been here ever since. She has a couple of kids. I met them at Thanksgiving. Big family. Very nice people. Anyway, she has a key to my apartment and she gives Alfred his dinner if I'm not home. I'm gonna have to buy her a nice fruit arrangement as a thank you after this. I'm missing a lot of Alfred's meal times. She's probably gonna have to go to the store for more wet food. I'll have to remember to pay her back. Hold on, let me make a note. Pay back Maria for... Okay, uh, so it looks like I need to go to both... FRA Morrow okay. and Eagle Limited oh, areas. And buy her a fruit arrangement. All right, done. Are you a cat person? I don't think I ever asked. You seem like one, though. You'd like Alfred. He's very proper, really carries himself well, you know? I named him after my favorite poet. Felt like a good fit. I got Alfred just before Sylvia died when I was at the... Huh. You know, I don't really remember where I got Alfred from. But, boy, those two did not get along. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. Sylvia thought she owned the... Okay. 
I'm really sorry if you guys are yelling at me to move on. I want to see where this goes. Like, if it if it unlocks an achievement or something, or if it literally unlocks like another side quest. I, I'm really sorry, guys. If if you're not interested, I'm really sorry. I got to see where this goes. Place. Didn't like me getting in her way. Scratched me more than once when I was just trying to move her food bowl. That cat was a real asshole. Wow. I'm realizing now that that language is not harsh. entirely um, professional. You see, Sylvia didn't tolerate most people, or animals, or anything. And that's what I meant when I said asshole. I would never use that word about a person. It was just, uh, you know, uh, hey, there's a light flashing on the console here. I got to uh, check this out. I'll get back to you later. Real smooth, Langston. Nope. All pointless. Really sorry, guys. Okay. So. Uh, let's look around here. Nothing. Let's go upstairs. So how are you guys doing? Having a good day? Hopefully enjoying the playthrough. Okay. Okay, so now that we have these eight points... So, launch large enemies when their health is low. I have this. Why couldn't I pick up that big motherfucker who shoots the those grenades? Because I tried. Anyways. Uh, wait, this ability is locked? Why is it locked? Oh, I have to... Oh, I didn't see the line. Fuck. I need to unlock all of this to unlock this. Back. Seeds duration. The ground slam, yeah. I, I don't really fight while I'm floating. Melee. Ah, uh, might as well do launch damage. So I still have... Two points. Not enough. Well, gotta save them. Yep. Uh, I haven't even been doing this at all. The maintenance sector. Kill enemies in the maintenance sector. Yeah. Anyway. Let's keep moving. Okay. I knew I was going to die there. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh, this guy's beefy, eh? Um, yeah, how am I supposed to attack this guy? How am I supposed to attack that guy? That guy's beefy as fuck. Alright, I need to go in there. And hide.
All right. Third time's a charm. Oh. I need a light source. Hey, look, a light source. Oh, I didn't know that. If I'm holding something and I press X, I drop it instead of like toss, like flinging it halfway across the room. That's good to know. Um, where was that plant one? We had one more of the, the plants to do. Um, loading bay. Where is the loading bay? Observation deck. Oh, it's down there. Yeah, I'm gonna need to take this with me. Why well, you take it with me anyway? It looks like. Uh, is that anything to pick up here? No. Oh. Boom, baby. Oh, I see ya. God damn, it does so much damage now. It's killing, uh, it's killing eights in one hit, man. No! Go get them. Alright, bro. I dare you. I fucking dare you. I dared him, and he answered that dare. Alright. Where did my light go? Did I destroy my light? Oh my god. Thank you. Fuck. Alright. Toss you out there. Oh. I don't know why I thought that was a box to open. Oh, there's another light here. Should have, uh... Should have guessed that. Wow, this darkness is oppressive, eh? Arcade cabinets procedures. Oh, this is the, the shoom cabinet, I guess? Yeah. A distance of 10 feet between the items suppresses their effect. Effect only triggers on physical contact. Items are a pair of arcade cabinets originally designed for the games Shoom and Shoom 2. Kulger's Revenge. The games were manufactured by Bonco Entertainment, now out of business. Despite being a popular arcade game in Japan during the late 80s, early 90s, no other shoom cabinets have been found by our investigators. This kind of reminds me of the, um, oh, what was the, um, the one by, like, the, the FBI, the one that's supposed to, like, hypnotize you or whatever. Oh, I forget. It's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, those arcade cabinets in like the, the 80s or whatever it's supposed to like yeah hypnotize you or whatever I forgot what it was called uh, when touching one of the items while it stands within 10 feet of its counterpart the user's mind is transported to a version of their subjective reality that resembles a video game in logic and function events from their everyday lives become game like sequences in which speed and efficacy are paramount the brain enters a stroke like state as proven by EEG studies on users uh, which only ends after the user finishes their game, at which point they resume normal brain and motor function.
Yeah, it was like the MK Ultra thing I'm talking about. I forgot what the game was called. I think it began with a P. I don't remember. What the fuck? Where'd the light go? I just dropped it here. Where the fuck did it go? Weird. So wait, if I drop it here, and I look away, it's still there. Weird. Maybe it reset when I hit the elevator button. Oh! Um, fuck. Well, there goes my light source. Fuck. Is my light in here somewhere? Can I get back up there? I can. Okay. My other light is now gone. And that one's back here. Well, at least it's back here. Damn it. Does the light break? Yeah, the light breaks. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I can't even do that. Um, okay. Is this one blacked off too? No, it's not. Interesting. Alright, maybe I need to turn this on first. Oh, which one? Oh, I see. That just moves it left or right. I see what I need to do. Okay. I see it. Alrighty. Need to I need to gauge it basically. Uh, that should be good. Very nice. Very nice. Observation deck. Oh my god. Well, that broke the light too. So 
So who's following me now? Oh, is it him again? Yeah, it's him. Fuck, okay. Oh shit. It's too dark of you to fight this thing. Oh. Well, where is that going? Oh fuck. I don't know where this is supposed to go. I didn't- I don't recall seeing any lights. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! He's right there. Come on. At least he's slow. Oh my god, he's so freaky looking. Supposed to go. Like, no, seriously, where the fuck is that thing supposed to go? Fuck. Oh my god, all the way here? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, fuck. Isn't this fun, guys? Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Okay. So there was some stuff I missed underneath the stairs. Actor for Hire. Dearest Hollywood, have you ever wished to be an actor who could do it all? Who could be a man or a woman, an adult or child? 
A dolphin or a Boston Terrier? Well, today's your lucky day. My name is Gareth Clemens, and I'm the world's greatest actor. Not only do I have years of stage experience, but I'm an accomplished shapeshifter. Whether you need a misbehaving cat, ferocious wolfman, swashbuckling pirate, or debonair southern belle, I'm your man. Or am I? I'll be arriving in town on May 11th, 1971, and I'll be available for meetings and auditions beginning on the 13th. See you in the movies. G. Clemens. What? Personal monster. Oh, I completely forgot about these. All right, let's take a quick breather. 97% sea speed. Holy fuck. Yes, please. Uh, evade costs on element pickup. No. Nope. Uh, nope. Sea speed. Evade energy cost. Long speed on launch kills. 15%. Hmm. Maybe. No, but I'm okay on, on launch speed. Energy 9%. Ugh. Alright, so that's that. Um, let's see what we got here. Bait costs after weapon kills. Um. 12%. Let's see what else there is. Zoom, no. Uh, blast radius, projectile speed, damage after kills. Okay, what do we got? Damage while low on health. Um, no, we can get rid of that one. Evade costs after weapon kills. Ammo cost per shot, damage after kills. I mean, this one's technically really damn good. Let's go with this one for now. Uh, damage against web enemy armor. I like this one. We'll keep it. Okay. And we want to go this way. I claim this control point. Oh boy. What's down there? This is the uh, Um Yeah, why not? Why not? Roll for an ish. Where are you? He totally saw that coming, too. Alright, so it looks like I need a light to break that door. Or to get rid of the darkness around this door. Because, yeah, you can... You can see it, you can hear it. Ooh, is that a light I can use? Maybe? Perhaps? It is definitely not. Okay, so what's going on on this side? I can't, can I go? I can go. 
What is over here? I cannot see a damn thing. What the fuck kind of station is that up there? What the fuck? What is this? Oh, it's a circuit board. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time and then we're done playing with you. Understand? Jelly, where are you from? Jumbo Brain. Up and loose and heavy treat sandwich. Jesus Christ, does anyone have any idea what this thing is saying? Hotly, Dirt arranged you. Why are you here? Dirt what the you. hell do you want? Why'd you stow away on that ship? School bearing boy boy. Eyes many cauterizing loops through and about. Wind and Wendy Mitchell. Did he just say Mitchell? Was there a Mitchell of NASA? Tubes. You know what? Never mind. I can't do this anymore. Just send this thing to the guys in research. Let them cut it up or whatever they do. You hear that? They're gonna cut you up, you pain in the ass. Spider time. <laughs> Spider time. I love that. Oh, is that light gonna shine on that thing down there? Yes, it is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nope, 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 no, no. Oh, fuck me. I am so trapped. Did not break this thing. Oh, I see. No shit. Oh, there's more. Oh, fuck. Can you... My god, there's so much shit in the way. did that anywhere no the 
this side either? No. No, sir. None whatsoever. Okay. Oh, well. This looks... weird. Ah! Um, yeah. Well, fuck a duck. I see. Okay, so nothing in here except that light. Gotcha. Oh my god. Closer? You and me, light. <gasps> Trench. Looks like this place has not gotten the memo that I'm the new sheriff in town. Oh, hi. How are you? You doing okay? Looks like whatever force had a hold on Hartman isn't mixing well with his corruption. Blake did call him the third thing. Um, I don't want that light to go. So we'll just okay. keep going on. I'm just going to freestyle a bit. <clears throat> My mother oh boy, here we go. Never talk to strangers. Always. Never. Never. Always. Never. Never. But isn't a stranger just someone you don't know? What if the only thing stopping a stranger from being a friend is that word? Stranger. Strange. -er. Strange like the noises you hear at night when there is no light and you cannot bite. Strange like a rubber duck that follows you around and makes you drop your coffee every time that it quacks because the noise scares you. Then you have to clean up the coffee while the duck stares at you and continues to quack, 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 quack. This is a very Langston-centric uh, episode, isn't it? A chain letter. <laughs> I remember these. Mom used to say they were evil. Hmm. Better do what it says. Uh, anyway, at some point. Just in case. There must be a photocopy around here. Shaded Hartman. Dr. Emil Hartman. Shaded. Dr. Hartman is the first type 2 shaded individual to be examined alive by the Bureau and has proven a valuable asset for our understanding of A010, aka the Shadow. Like all shaded individuals, the specimen is constantly shielded by or produces a blank of darkness that makes visual observation difficult. This blank also protects the specimen from harm. During testing, non-lethal ballistics proved ineffective against it. 
The specimen uses words and phrases that seem to originate from its previous life as a therapist. Some phrases have even been identified as quotes from Dr. Armand's book, The Creator's Dilemma. This seems to indicate the, ho the host's personality remains blank to some degree. For research purposes, Shaded Hartman was relocated to the Cauldron Lake Lodge replica built for the blank AWE investigation. Researchers hope a familiar setting may trigger new behavior. The experiment has yielded no results thus far. So that'd be interesting if we got to see a replica of the of the lodge from Alan Wake. Correspondence. Oh, the chain letter. Move this letter along before he gets you. Oh no, this spooky man letter has found you. The spooky man curse is coming to you. To miss the curse, you must mail this letter to people. If you don't, the curse will get you. The more letters you mail, the better off you'll be. Sally and Houston did not send the letter, and the spooky man ate her cat. Terrence and Greenstone did not send the letter, and the spooky man gave him acne. Kyle did not send the letter, and now his wife eats dinner alone. Ooh, that's morbid. Linda did send more letters, 30 in total, so far. And look at her now. She owns three cars, she has all her fingers, and she speaks Italian. You need to mail this letter. You better mail this letter. Don't let the spooky man come. He'll take your cat. Go find your stamps. Hurry. Maybe you'll take Alfred. And then Langston can shut the fuck up. Uh, we got a lot of multimedia stuff, didn't we? Langston freestyle. My god. I like how it's under music. Like the music uh, things that we got. Okay, that's the loading bay, which means the plants, the plants are in there. Um, where does this lead? Another one. This piece is called me and you. Oh, come on, Langston. It's summer in New York City. A boy with a wolf's head eats some ice cream. The ice cream melts. The wolf head howls. We howl together. Me and you. The mayor stares at a bicycle. A little girl watches him watch the bike, watch him watch the bike, and on and on and on, like the ticking of a thousand clocks. We listen to the ticking together, me and you. A traffic light decides it doesn't want to be a traffic light anymore. People call it names, and it's hurt. I take it to see a movie. We good have for you. good times. Me and you. Did you guys play Red Light, Green Light after? People think we're weird, but we ignore them. We're friends now, connected by a moment. We'll always share this story, even if people don't understand it. You and me, me and you. Fantastic, Langston. Fantastic. Please, no more. Please. 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 All right. Um No. Mr. 
This is Director Faded. I require backup at this location. Did... Okay. Did that work? Oh! Hi! That was quick. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Blank, now. Ooh, next. Okay. Night Springs screenplay, page three. The director strep steps closer to the horrible entity. He reaches out with a steady hand. Director, you are mine now, creature. I will return you to my facility and control your power. Sir, we don't know. The entity instead rushes forward and engulfs the director. He screams in pain as a scientist looks on and does nothing, like the coward that he is. Entity subtitled, I'm not the one being examined. I'm not the one locked inside a prison. Gradually, the director emerges from the entity. His once sparkling eyes are now empty and dull. The scientist rushes to him. Sir? Sir, we have to escape. We cannot. They are in control now. I got what I wanted. Ooh. Scandalous. Alright. This is uh this is not gonna end well with me walking around with the uh, with this thing. But I know, I know, I know if I don't take it with me, it's gonna disappear. Hear battle music. Oh my god, that is a long way down. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Oh jeez. Miss me, bitch. I saw that coming too. Shit. Well, yeah. Fuck. Okay. So much for that light. I need a ranger sent to this location, stat. Come on. Come on. Where do you think you're going? Where? 
Where? Are you fuckers? Oh, you're down there. Really? Why do you go where I cannot follow? Big boy here? Oh, he's on the other side. He's on the other side. He's on the other side. Let's go, Bubba. Come on. You suck. Can't believe I died to you. Let's do this. Let's do it. We already did it. You it's done, bro. The doing got done. Alright, so what was the point of this? Ooh, another flashlight! No, 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 no. Oh, fuck, no, where'd it go? Fuck. I guess the plants will have to wait. Oh, it's right there. Yes. Ooh. Nice. Got one. Oh my god, it's dark as fuck. I was just looking to see if I could break that wall. Who puts plants in this kind of area? Okay, bro, just go secure the entrance or something. I'm I'm fine. I'm good. Oh, there's another light over there. Uh, there was nothing down there that I could see. Another plant. So one more. And then I guess it's going to be in the lower area. But doesn't hurt to check. Oh, it's right here. Here's some sunshine to brighten your day. It's artificial, though. Hmm. How does that and that's the last one. I want someone to take care of these guys. Supervisor of Houseplant Wellbeing. And to think I almost left. Alright, Ranger. You got this. What 
does this lead? Well, at least now we're all done with the uh, with the plants. So that's good. Right, right. Okay, I think that's where we need to go. I think that was just like a hidden area. Or maybe not. Oh, it is. Wow. Okay. Another side quest, or part of a side quest, done. Uh, and I don't think there's anything, any boxes or anything here. Well, good thing I came back in here. Did we do what we needed to do here? I'm so confused as to where we are. Oh, okay. Ooh. Interesting. Alright, guys. Well, that will do it for this episode. Um... <laughs> Very Langston-centric episode. I don't know why he kept on popping up and talking for as long as he fucking did. And of course, I'm the idiot that uh, kept letting him talk. But regardless, I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed the episode, especially with the Shoom uh, arcade game where I got to embarrass myself a little bit. But hey, I'll, I'll get to it again at some point, uh, probably after we finish the game. I'll kind of like uh, spend another few episodes kind of wrapping things up, so I'll, I'll hit that up again. Um, but yeah, that's it for, for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.